SeaWorld is setting a manatee record, one nobody wants. 58 manatees have come in with medical issues, five more than the past record with a quarter of a year left. Red Tide has sent 15 manatees here. They are kind of de depressed. They are not mentally kind of aware, and sometimes they're having seizures. Manatees are large, of course, but Red Tide gets them in so many ways. The algae itself will um, fall and cover the plants that they eat, the vegetation, so they're ingesting it also. So they're breathing it and ingesting it. They're also impacted by the water they drink. Of the 15 brought here, two have died. The rest are doing well. Often when the SeaWorld veterinary staff takes on different ailments facing sea creatures, it's complicated, medications and very specific procedures. But when it comes to the way the red tide is impacting the manatees, the treatment is fairly simple. Just getting the manatees away from the ick, the nasty air, the toxic plume, they seem to recover fairly quickly. But for stubborn cases, if they're having seizures, we do control the seizures with anti-convulsants uh, because we don't want to have brain damage. The challenge is what to do with manatees once they're better. They can't be released where they were rescued until the red tide subsides. So we are moving manatees to other facilities to make room for manatees here at SeaWorld. A partnership to save one of nature's wonders. In Orlando, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.